New Zealand is home to one of the world's longest survivors of type 1 diabetes. 84-year-old Winston Johnston has defied the odds in more ways than one. Jessie Peach explains. <laughs> Amaryllis. There you go. <laughs> she remembered the name of the flowers. <laughs> Winsome Johnson is wrapping presents. She always has lots of people to buy for. Four generations, in fact. John. Oh, that's John. Right. But none of this was meant to happen. They told me, if I remember rightly, that uh, the doctors, um, that possibly um, my life wouldn't be that long. Johnson was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 6. Her sister had it too, but died at the age of 16. Now aged 84, Johnson's the longest surviving person with type 1 diabetes in the world. She's had it for 78 years. I was determined, I think, uh, in those days, to do what I wanted to do, and hopefully it would help me with the little bit of knowledge that I had. She was told she'd never have kids, but she's had four, including twins. And now she has eight grandchildren, seven great-grandchildren, and another one on the way. <laughs> Rab Burton also has type 1 diabetes and is Winsome Johnson's diabetes nurse. She's his number one patient, having never missed an appointment in eight years. I've learned so much from her, and every day I talk about her story to people. Burton says the key to Johnson's remarkable health is quite simple, discipline. It's difficult to try and calculate every day when you eat how much insulin you need for your meals. You've got to do that every day, 24 hours a day. It's, it's hard, it's not easy. There are two main types of diabetes. Type 2 has reached epidemic proportions in New Zealand and is often caused by poor diet or obesity. But no one knows what causes type 1, which is what Winsome Johnson's got. And that's on the rise too. This is Aaliyah. She developed type 1 diabetes when she was just three years old, which came as a shock for her mum, Serena. Unmanaged diabetes does shorten your life, so it's something that is quite a worry if she does, if her sugar levels are high, or if they do go too low. Obviously, there's a lot of complications that do come from that. Serena says while type 1 diabetes is possible to manage, it can seem impossible at times. So we took her to the woman who knows better than anyone about what living with diabetes is like. They're coming to the shambles. <laughs> and the record-breaking survivor gave young Aaliyah a simple tip or two about how to live with diabetes. Just as long as you can remember to do all the right things and not eat the wrong things. <laughs> Although it's sometimes hard when you go to parties and things, isn't it? But I think if you always tell the person who's having a party that certain things you can't eat, then it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Winsome Johnson would like her story to give hope to kids like Aaliyah, who are among the 220,000 New Zealanders living with diabetes. Jessie Peach, 3 News.